I picked up the first Harry Potter book when I was eight years old. I read it again and again, started waiting. Like, okay, I know it's not real, but I'm gonna get that letter when I turn 11 years old. Just that, that little hope that I was gonna get whisked away to a magic fairy tale place. My parents, they didn't really like society the way it was. They were both pretty strongly of the belief that the public schooling system was made to brainwash kids. They lived in a rural area, not much outside connection to the world. Mom and dad said that they were being homeschooled, but they really weren't getting homeschooled. They were learning things on their own from the internet and from their books and from things like that. They didn't really have time to teach us much. I couldn't do long division. I didn't know what a square root was. They were told that if they rode in a vehicle, they needed to wear a neck brace because otherwise their bones would break and they would die. So I was, I was about 13 and I would go to chat rooms for this web comic that I read. I had friends from other countries. They wouldn't always be online because they had to go to school. And it really kind of hit me that what I was going through wasn't normal. And that was how I lived until the Department of Human Services intervened. When Kenzie and Kayla and Arthur came into our home, they were very shy, very quiet, very withdrawn. My first thought was that she needs to be in school, that the sooner that we get them moving, the better that they were going to be. I was 15 years old. I would never attended a class before. I was terrified. <laughs> I figured that she was a TAG student when I had first met her. I had no idea that she hadn't been schooled at all, and so when I found out, I was kind of shocked. I think at first, it was a little harder for me to get going. It's like someone picked me up and dropped me on the treadmill. I was very behind in math especially, but when it got to the end of that third quarter, I was on honor roll. She really had to figure out how to do all of it, and in a very short amount of time. Homework and of taking tests and succeeding on those things. It was an amazing thing to see. She's definitely one of the more memorable students that I've ever had. I was still pretty socially withdrawn. And then one of the girls I'd known, I let her drag me to the drama club. I was just like, I haven't even seen a play before. So I thought that I'd go and just help backstage. I ended up getting a role. I found that I really enjoyed being around the other people who were working on the play. Theater made me less scared. I never thought that I would be a person who would want to perform. Through her sophomore year, she really did grow as an actress, and then last year, she was amazing. She received a, a regional finalist award that's only to the top 20% in her region. I could see she was becoming this more open person, and it doesn't surprise me that she has almost a 4.0. I'm just as proud of her as I would be of any of my bio kids. Tammy and Charlie, they don't even really see us as foster kids anymore. They're my family. <laughs> the people in my life who've made me feel supported and made me feel like I could achieve something. They've all been teachers. I'd love to be teaching theater. Wherever she is, whether she's uh, affecting a classroom or a community, she definitely will be affecting people in a, in a positive way. School seemed like a scary monster that I'd been told to hide from for my entire life. And looking back now, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. 